All right, guys, so today we are going to show you how to make the quickest, easiest, simplest veggie garden, a one by one. It's enough to feed a family of three. And for me, it makes veggie gardening full, top of the pops. All right, so what do we need? Well, this is everything that you need, plus a few little plants and some soil. So let's get this baby open and let's show you how it is. There we go. Don't throw away the instructions. You may just need them. And open it up here. Now guys, this is ordinary pine, all right? Ordinary pine, I would suggest that if you're wanting this long term, that you treat it first. So use just an outdoor sealer before you get to putting this thing together. Um, and in that way, it's gonna last you for years and years and years. So what we need to do first is simply just put the pieces together so that we know with what we're working with. There we go. Some more of those. And then this over here. Right, let's start off. First of all, what you are needing is an area that gets a minimum of five hours sunlight a day. I've got a little gravel area here. This could even be a courtyard. So you could put this straight onto cement anywhere. Okay, so here we go. Let's start off. Two base plates. Literally, they are gonna go one there and one over here. From there, what I need is one of these little babies. All right, then this guy goes in here, slots in nicely, and that baby goes in there. Right, other side. Right, perfecto. Then we come along with these other two sides, and you can see that they slot right in here. And on this side, slot it in. Right, that guy's in. Folks, if you find you've got a bit of a gap like that, what it's telling you is that you're not on a level surface. Last bits here, guys. And that baby goes in here. We've kept those for the top. Right, there we go. And on this side as well. Nice, and of course, the last two bits. And remember, we've got the same little slats as well at the top. So they are going in here. And there we have it. Next step is to get this, which is our weed guard. And this is really the essential part that whether you're putting it in a courtyard or you're putting it onto a gravel surface, because what it does is it stops your soil from running away and disappearing. Make sure that you line up the edges as well because that also does help protect your wood just a bit, bit more. All right, folks, once that is done, we now start with our soil mixture. And whatever we're gonna put in here is gonna determine how our veggies and herbs are gonna do. So. This is the mixture we're gonna be using. A 50% potting soil, 50% compost, some bone meal, some Atlantic organic pellets, and mix it all in. When you put your first bucket in, folks, very important to do this. Literally just grab the bits and start putting it in so that you're holding your weed guard up. Do that, it saves you a lot of heartache and frustration along the line. There we go. Okay. Right, we're gonna add in the bits. All right, one or two handfuls of Atlantic Samungus. All right, there we go. And last but not least, we are gonna add in some coconut husk, which is gonna help with our moisture in our potting soil mixture. Now all I've gotta do is just turn it over with the fork, prep, and we're ready for planting.
All right, folks. Now that this has all been mixed in beautifully, it's just looking good and perfect for planting. Now, this is where these little sticks come in. This makes our life even simpler. Here we go. Another little guy in here. Last two along here. There we go. And <laughs> now it's all making sense. To start off my planting, I want to use this little guy, a little bite-sized tomato. So yummy, nice and small. Not going to take over the whole veggie garden um, because it really has been and bred to be a patio um, little tomatoes. Really nice, we can clean this up in a minute or two. And then I've got some lettuce, I've got some bok choy. Bok choy, I love it, it's a Chinese green. Um, use it as a substitute for spinach, it is delicious. And when it flowers, what's even nicer is that the flowers are edible as well. So in a little area like this, four little bok choy will do the job. In here, folks, I'm putting a beautiful little golden lemon thyme. So yummy. And remember, the more you're picking the thyme, the more it grows and the bushier it gets. So I've got thyme, I've got some lettuce, a red lettuce, my bok choy. I'm gonna pop in some parsley, one of your best, best plants to use besides just for potato salad. Um, throw it in salads as well and use it, uh, it can be used in ordinary green salads and also use it as a tea. And then because we can, I've got two little compartments that are left and in those we can sow some seeds. You don't have to, but why not put something in like some little bush beans. Beautiful. They are so easy. Everybody's germinated a bean. Remember when you were at school? Aha, there we go. So we're going to take a few little of these guys, the little bush beans, and you're simply going to put one in there two, three, four, don't push them in too deep, cover them gently, give them a little pat, there we go, and on this side over here, oh, all your desires of having a veggie garden are met right here in a few simple steps. All you've got to do is make sure that you give it a good watering, probably every second day, depending on how hot it is. And then in four weeks time, you want to give it another feeding. And you can also use a liquid fertilizer, which you can use every 10 days that you dilute into water. And as you are watering, so you are feeding the plants, it's getting taken up directly into the leaves because that is called a folio feed. So guys, get out and enjoy.